In this video, I'll be showing how to set up Python on Windows 10. Look up for the Python installation from your browser. And install the one that fits your system. Here I'm downloading the 64-bit Windows version. Save it to your download folder. And double click to install. And take things that are not needed. And custom install to the drive you want. And take the optional features. And set the destination folder. In this case, I'll be installing Python to F drive folder py362. Hit OK and start installation. You can now remove the Python installer. Now, we are going to install virtual length. Open command prompt. Navigate to the system Python location, which is F drive py362 slash scripts. From there, we pip install virtual length. Hit enter and wait for the process. You can type pip list to check whether virtual length is installed to the system. We are now creating a folder in F drive to hold our virtual environment. Go to command prompt. Go to F drive and type md space tray. We'll be using this folder to hold our Python tray projects. Open a new command prompt. And navigate to our system Python location, which is F drive py362 slash scripts. Hit enter and install new virtual environment to the path f slash tray slash tray env. Then hit enter to start installation. Exit command prompt and go to the path to see whether the virtual environment is installed. Jump back to browser and download Sublime Text Tree. Click to download the one that fits your system. Once it's downloaded, extract all files, then cut and paste the Sublime Text folder to your destination folder. Open up Sublime Text folder and double click the execute file to start programming. Let's start typing some Python code. Save it as a Python file. Before you run the code, you go to Tools, Build System, and tick Python. But when you hit Ctrl B to run the code, you get error message. That's why we need to create new build to point to our virtual environment. From the untitled sublime build file, we need to paste 
some codes. We can look up for these codes from web. Before we save, we need to change the Python path to our virtual environment. I just name it with my environment's name so that I can easily remember. Go back to a Python file and take the sublime build we've just created. And run the Python code to check if it works. Yeah, it works. If you want to move the output panel from bottom to right, simply hit Ctrl Shift P and type install package. Hit Ctrl Shift P again and type install. Hit it and you'll be able to type build wheel. Click the only selection and wait for the installation. Now you can hit Alt Shift 2 and see a split in between. Simply run the code again and drag the result panel to the right. Then you can now see the right side displays the code result. Now we are going to pip install several packages for train. Open command prompt. Navigate to the virtual environment scripts folder. Pip install handers. This is a popular package to read and process data. We then pip install xlrd to let us read and write Excel file with Python. Pip install matplotlib. We use this one to plot graph. We also need beautiful soup for to grab web data. Exit command prompt. I'm going to create a new Python file to test these packages. Before saving, make sure you are coding in the virtual environment. Save the file. We're going to read this CSV file with Python packages. Let me type and run the code. Oops, I typed the wrong file format, Excel, instead of CSV. Go back to change the CSV in our code and press Ctrl B to run it. There we go. Thanks for watching.